what is up you guys thank you for watching anything adulting a channel where we talk about life hacks life in general or anything adulting so if you're interested please keep on watching So for today's video guys, I will be giving you an update. How does it feel like to be a BPO or a call center agent? So if you guys are interested about my call center journey, I will be um, linking the previous video that I have made before on uh, how did I became a call center agent and my journey uh, on becoming a call center agent if that makes sense but anyways thank you so much for watching this video and in this video i will just be talking about um how does it feels like a call center agent so previously every time na magkaroon kami ng like family gatherings or let's say friends of friends or let's say family friend a reunion a dinner a lunch every time na magkakaroon kami ng interaction, people are always asking me, how does it feels like to be a call center? Ano ba yung ginagawa ng call center? So ngayon, I will be answering those questions in general. So una, um, ano ba ang ginagawa ng isang call center agent? So para sa akin, um, on my own experience, observation, and um, definition, ang call center job is just like any other job na we currently have in corporate but more on the customer service side. You know, meron tayong tinatawag na invoice, meron din naman tayong tinatawag na back office. So, ang back office, it's more of the documentation side. Pag sinabi mo namang inbound or invoice, ito yung mga facing customer agents na nag accept ng mga tawag natin. So, to answer the question, being a call center um, agent doing the job is just like any other job that you know a corporate company can offer someone in a normal setup. Why did I mention normal setup? Because we all know na kapag call center ka, so technically, you are working at night. Graveyard shift. It's not your typical 8 to 5 daytime job na a normal corporate would offer you. Oops. Wait lang po mga kapamilya. Don't mind the zit in my face. Pero gusto ko lang po i-add tong um, video na to while editing this video na um, it doesn't necessarily mean na kapag call center ka, eh, you are working at night. May mga call center na coming from, let's say, not just the United States, but call center agents na working on an Australian time, you know, and uh, Philippine time. This is, this is just like how I approach it and also based on my experience. Continue na tayo sa video. Let's go! And having that said, kapag night uh, graveyard shift ka na trabaho, it will also be giving you a hazard pay and night differential pay which for most of the call center agent I uh, find helpful okay so it's another topic to talk about pero um yun yung mga one of the benefits na magkakaroon ka if you work on a graveyard shift now also to add on just doing the call center job it's as i have mentioned to my previous video it's actually um, one of my answered prayer because if you're like let's say an agent or an associate ang trabaho natin is every point of customer interaction every time that you will be facing your customer uh, let's say kahit sa phone lang yan to give them like a quality um, customer service that the company you're working with trained you to do so Okay? Na kahit na sabihin na natin minsan customer is not always right. Pero again, that's the main purpose why you are hired. To be patient and to give quality services to your um, customers. Now, um, to answer the second question na how does it feel like to be a call center agent? You know, every time that someone will be asking me this question, I always answer them na para lang akong nasa college. The feeling is just like me going to my university way back in college and then uh, in different semesters, di ba, uh, bago yung nakikita mong tao, ganun din sa call center. May mga pagkakataon na may makikita ka na lang na this is first sa work setup, no? 
may mga pagkakataon na makikita ka nakasama mo sa training wala na lang ng ilang araw kaya naman, minsan naman, going na yung training tapos biglang may papasok na bagong mukha uh, being in a call center setup for me is like going to my university way back in college it is because you get to experience kahit pa paano, medyo malawak yung social life mo because um, changes is constant not just in BPO no? but also in a normal company so, ang sa akin lang is that the reason why I felt that way or I'm feeling this way, it is because um, it's really nice to get to know a lot of people, to expand your network. Napakaganda kasi ng feeling na, ano eh, na you get to know a lot of people. Maybe not in a personal um, way, pero you get to know a lot of people in a work setup where you can treat them as acquaintances. No? So, ang sa akin lang, uh, my feeling being a BPO employee is I feel like I'm in school. Papasok tayo ng school, uuwi tayo ng school. And if I may go back a little bit sa sinabi ko kanina, ang trabaho namin kasi hindi namin inuuwi. So kumbaga parang wala kaming backlog. The only time na ang uh, associate magkakaroon ng backlog is kapag dumadami yung volume ng pagpasok ng calls, pagpasok ng let's say kung back office ka, ng mga uh, cases to work nyo doon lang kayo magkakaroon ng backlog pero technically um, the main role of an associate is really to give every point of customer interaction a good quality uh, customer service okay, so uh, basically, yun lang naman yung gusto ko i-share dito sa vlog na to. I don't really like to expound it anymore and be specific because I don't really also want to bleach my contract. Pero, um, to sum it up, that's really how I feel every time that question will be asked to me. Uh, every time that I will be interacting with people. So, it's very a short vlog. Sinipag lang din ulit ako mag-vlog. Ganun naman tayo since I'm employed fully. And uh, I just would like to share my ideas with people who might relate with this video. It's just like giving you guys an idea on how it works. And uh, for also you guys not to be afraid when it comes to applying for a call center job. As I have mentioned, being a call center, it's just like any other job that you could uh, probably have out there. Um, it is still an 8 to 5 or 9 to 6 job that you need to fulfill. And... Uh, Yun, ang sa akin lang, if you are still wondering if you want to be a call center agent or not, you might want to try to experience because you never know, just like in my story before, no? Pero yun lang naman yung gusto kong sabihin na everything is worth to try and huwag kayong matakot because failure only happens if you stop trying. <music>